Today I'm going to look at Vim theming or Vim background and foreground colours and it's something you don't necessarily see much of, I don't know, or you don't see many videos on it, it seems to me. Maybe it's just escaped me, there's probably plenty on it, but I watched a lot of Linux videos and I haven't come across Linux, uh, sorry, Vim theming. Now if you're Neo Vim, don't worry, we're all friends here, and what I'm going to do today will probably work in your uh, Vim RC or Neo Vim RC because it's Vim script which is compatible I believe with Neo Vim but you've also got Lua so you can look up your own documentation and uh, speaking of documentation let's have a look at the um, Arch Linux wiki okay so let's have a look here and the Arch Linux wiki for the Vim page doesn't seem to really talk about theming so if I search theming, GTK theme color, I mean, I, you know I am the TTY user of sorts, so I want it to work in the TTY and I presume in the standard terminal, uh, sorry, in SAX term or a graphical terminal as well as the Linux console. So if I put theme in, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to theme background color with a gvim we're not doing gvim on this channel sorry gvim is just gvim i mean there's nothing really to say about it controversial maybe i don't know vim's got a visual selector anyway anyway i digress so i'm going to show you where the arch linux wiki doesn't and uh, we'll start off in my virtual machine and of course i'm in the tty because this is the foundation. I want to know if it works in here, it should work everywhere. Anyway, so what we need to do is if you haven't already, create a VimRC. I've obviously got a VimRC, so ironically, if you're editing your VimRC, you can do it in Nano or create it in Nano, but obviously just do it in Vim, whatever. And uh, let's go into it. Now I've got a couple of things in my virtual machine VimRC here. I've got uh, the JJ to be the escape key and I've got syntax on. Now this is important because if you start setting um, themes and colors, it seems that it kind of breaks the default syntax. So just put this in syntax on and then below it, we're gonna do our first, if you like theme, a custom theme one that you can assume um, I would like and you'd be right because um, I've sort of talked on uh, before you know text being white on a black background okay I quite like that so let's play around as you can see here so this isn't quite um, if we look at this this isn't I believe quite black I'm not sure maybe if you're using it on the uh, X11 or Wayland, it will come up a grayer, but it does seem to take the theme of the console. Now, what you will be able to see is the text is not white. So one thing for certain, we are going to uh, change the text to white. So that's going to be our foreground, foreground text, background black. OK, so let's look at the syntax here. So uh, we need to do a colon and then we need to put highlight and normal so then we want c term fg which is obviously going to be your foreground equals white and then you want a c term uh, bg which is obviously your background black okay and uh, what we're going to do therefore is i'm just going to keep that together why not and i'm just going to right quit save that now if i go into a say a vim file so uh, let's go into Vim testing and I start typing as you can see that looks like it is white can you see that that's white text not gray text white text okay so now the black background doesn't seem to have changed too much but um, it's already black let's say but if you're using say X term or something is going to definitely change your Vim background to black. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, is there an easier way to see it? No, 
That is definitely white. We know that's white, okay? If I change this, let's compare. If you look at the bottom right, that's still in gray. So let's right quit that, okay? And then I'm gonna go into VMRC again. And this is important, if you do not like this, but you want to keep it in your VMRC, just put a um, quotation mark at the beginning. That's like a um, hash or a crash or whatever you call it to um, comment out that line. So when you reload your, um, let's say, file, as you can see, it's now gone to gray, okay? So just to prove to you, prove to you what I'm saying, and take that out. Look at the gray at the bottom. There we go, it's white, okay? So great, there we go. So we've got a nice little default there if you want white on black. Now uh, I will show you, um, I will just turn it off for a second. Uh, I will show you how you can get um, all your info on uh, color schemes and themes. I'll just give you this information now. So uh, what it is, is you need to put in, well, you need to go in the command line in your Vim. Uh, okay, so load up, load up a Vim document or a document in Vim and then do a colon to go into the command and then you wanna do HC term colors. Okay, and then this is gonna bring up all of your info relating to colors the codes um, and so forth. So if you need to look it up and then you can scroll through and you can look at all this kind of stuff if you want. If you want precision, if you want fine grain, everything you do, look at this. It will tell you about cursors, columns. Fantastic. Isn't, isn't Vim so wonderful? Okay, so in a way I could leave it there, but no, I'm gonna show you some themes that Vim has presets in its uh, libraries that you can invoke and have different themes. So that's what we're gonna do now. So uh, stay in your VimRC, or if you're not in your VimRC, load your VimRC, uh, keep syntax on. I'm just going to move this down and uh, let's open, let's use a split. So let's open screen and uh, just so I can show you both at the same time. And uh, so what do I want? I want to, I've got to remember how to use screen now. So I want a vertical split. Yeah, that will, that'll do, that'll do. Okay, um, actually no, I don't want that. I do not want that. All right, start again, start again. I want that and I want to create I want to create on there. Right, okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Right, so let's uh, load up our VimRC. Okay. And then um, let's find the directory. So uh, the directory, if I can remember, I've got to remember the directory now. How annoying. I can't remember, where is it? Where is the directory? So I'm using I'm using my main computer to find where the directory is. Okay. So uh, right, if I do user uh, share vim and then colors, I think that's it. Vim files. Mm. What am I doing? Let's go into it. CD user share vim 91. Okay, here we go. I think we're getting somewhere now. Right. This looks like what we want. So I'm just going to clear this. Okay. Here we are. So I'll, I'll do PWD so you can see what directory I'm in. User share vim, vim 91 colors. Uh, it might be the same for you, I don't know, I presume it. Depends what version of vim you're using. I guess that's why it's vim 91. Okay, so what we wanna do now is, uh, if I can remember, remember where I was. Uh, da, da, da. Right, 
Okay, here we go. This is the syntax. So we want to put in color scheme. Okay. And then we want to put in whatever the color scheme it is we want. So let's just start off with blue. Okay. Now again, I've left syntax on, so this should still cover your syntax highlighting. Okay. So if I go into um, my VimRC, as you can see, I've got syntax and I've got the color scheme blue. Fantastic. So let's change this again. Uh, we'll just go through some of these. Let's try dark blue. Okay. Save that. VimRC. Uh, I don't know. Did that really do anything? No. Not well, I guess it's changed maybe, again, the syntax colors. So it's weird. You've got the default, obviously, you've got Dalek Desert. Let's tr change. Uh, oh. Let's change desert to desert. Okay, let's right quit, right quit that. Then our VMRC. Okay, hasn't done much to the background. What about uh, uh, evening? Evening. Right. So again, it's just on on the certainly on the TTY. It's just really changing. Uh, a lot of the foreground colors. Let's try, I know there's some different ones here, probably look different on like X term, whatever. Um, let's try industry. Okay. Ooh. Again, it's just changing. It's interesting, not changing much of the background colors. Let's try this, cola. Again, it's probably because the colors are eight colors, right? Whatever. Okay, more <laughs> more color on the foreground than the background. Uh, did I try industry? Did I try industry? I think I did. What is Habermax? Habermax. Okay. More just changing that. Okay, what is a lunar? Are we going to get anywhere? No. Nope. What is Elford? Come on, just give me some background change. Just give me some another background change. Oop. Cannot find. Elf Lord. Of course. All right. I will go through all of them. Okay, this is the dedication. The dedication. Maybe if I change the syntax on, off, it might change it. Um, let's try morning. Uh, did I try it already? I don't know. How exciting is this? You, if you're still on this video, well done. Wow. Okay, that worked. I can't read anything. Oh, how am I gonna? Oh my word! How am I gonna change that? Okay. Okay. So there you go. That's. That's uh, definitely going to wake you up in the morning. <sighs> Blimey. Horrific. Okay, this one. Okay. What's Pablo? Pablo Escobar? I don't even know. Peach Puff. Okay. Ready your eyes, people. Ready your eyes. Ooh, that is harsh. Uh, let's go quiet. I think that's appropriately named after Peach Puff. Well, that's just like nothing. Okay, what next? What next? Uh, retro box. Retro box. I'm just going to try them all. Why not? I think I might have left Dalek out. Why not? There you go. You can see everyone. Everyone. Uh, Ron. Ron. What? What about Ron? Okay. Shine. So there you go. You don't even need to test them out because I'm testing them out for you. Well, that might look different in your in your um, terminal emulator on X or whatever. Slate. Okay. Hmm. Sorbet. Ooh, I like a sorbet. Love me a sorbet. Not doing much for me though. Uh, tort. Ooh, like a nice chocolate tort. 
Mm, not doing much for me. Wild Charm. Now, I think when I did um, play around with these previously, I think in the graphical terminals, if you like, with default, you know, like 256 colors, it does give you obviously more of a nuance. So you, you can try it out, but you know how I am. I'm just going to do it on here. Oh, what am I doing? So maybe uh, not too many different background background choices in the Linux uh, ter console terminal, but that's just how it is, guys. That's just how it is. There you go. Gray, blue, or black. That's basically your choice, right? Okay. Now I'm just going to comment this out for now because. That's fine. That's fine for me for the moment. Okay, so there we go. I've shown you just about every, almost I think, or all of them, every um, uh, theme in the Vim uh, library. So how good a service was that, even though you couldn't get the full experience, but I've given you some hints on how it's gonna look. And I've shown you if you wanna set specific colors for your foreground and your background, there we go. How fantastic. They're pretty easy going. You've got a whole resource you want to change uh, like cursors and status bars and all this kind of stuff. I've given you the resource. I'll maybe put some stuff in the description. Um, but really, it's just go through the Vim documentation and you'll be sorted or just follow this video and you'll work it out. So um, you know what to do with the fake YouTube. You can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. And I'm just going to leave it there.